How do you all? This is our extravaganza with GarageBand and our second lesson, okay? In the first lesson, we deconstructed, we took apart a drum kit into individual instruments. Now, we've got our bass drum, snare drum, hi-hats. We recorded those three tracks, okay? And then um, it sounds like this. That's great, but a little bit short. That's all we got, okay? So, in, this, in um, lesson 1A, we then discovered the edit function. So just by double clicking on this region, the green bit here, I can get the piano roll keyboard up, which is a, an editor, okay? And it allows me, instead of throwing something away because I don't like it, or if I made a mistake starting again, I can take what I've already recorded and make some little changes to it. So I can either use the quantize function as we used in 1A, or I can go and edit just by dragging over these ideas here. So instead of our very standard drum pattern, now we've got this. It's a little, it's a little bit funkier. It's cool. Let's roll with that at the moment. I'm going to make the editor disappear by clicking on this, or finding this line, clicking and dragging off. Okay, so today is all about the loop function and the copy and paste function. Now imagine yourself at the Grand Canyon, okay? And you yell into this big space, hello! And you're gonna hear, hello, hello, hello. That's a loop function, okay? What it is, it's taking exactly what you've done and giving you an echo, okay? so. To explain it in GarageBand land, let's select everything with Command A. I'm going to go and hover over the right hand, the top right hand corner of my region until I get that symbol. See it? It's a vertical line with a little circle and an arrow just near the three symbol there. I'm going to take that by clicking on and dragging along right up to the end of bar eight and beginning of bar nine. Now you can see here that all of my events are here in white, but just a little bit shaded there are my echoes. So I can't alter these echoes, but I can extend this for as long as I want. It's really powerful for getting a lot of music onto the part really, really quickly. So to listen to that now, we're gonna have Pretty cool, isn't it? It sounds the same, but I can't edit it. Every time I make a change here, it's going to be reflected here. Really important to remember, but a, a very powerful tool. Okay, let's go back to where we were. Now, our second function today is called the copy and paste function. Now, the copy and paste function is different. It's like getting a carbon copy, creating it, and then plonking it down on our environment. What I mean by that is, I'm going to select everything, this time with the lasso function, by clicking in this area of nothing here and dragging up until everything's selected. Then the same way I'd copy a web address or um, a bit of text in Word, I would say Command C, and that has copied that. Okay, now it's in a, an imaginary space called the clipboard, ready to be pasted. Now I'm going to take my region, my, my locator here, and, and plant my new region, how about we plant it over here at bar 5. So it's going to click into bar 5, and then the same way I paste in Word, I'm just going to go Command V. Look at this. Now the difference between these two, or the difference between looping and copying and pasting is, I can, I've got a copy now, but I can actually edit this one. So if I was to make it a little bit different, how about we go back to the same version that we had last time that we recorded in lesson one. So all of those bass drums are on the beat now and I can just get out of that by swiping. So we've got our first feel here. Okay, and if I go over here, which is really cool if you're doing like a, an introduction and then a verse and you want them to sound a little bit different, Placing that bass drum in a different place is a, is a good idea. So say we wanted just to have that um, right on the beat happening here. 
um, and repeating, we could lo use the loop function, okay? It's easy. There we go. And say we want to have eight bars then of this area. So we've already made an edit. So why don't we just loop that three more times? So it's two, three. So before you know it, you have now got pretty much an introduction and a verse. Check it out. So this is our standard idea. There's our echo happening. Here's our change. And here are those echoes of that. So recapping, you can use the loop function to copy and get echoes of exactly what you've recorded immediately preceding the area that you loop. So what I mean by that is, say I've got this bit here. I'm going to move that over here just to show you. Um, to bar 7. All right. Now, if I wanted to loop, I could... Bar 9 would be exactly what's happening at bar 7. Check this out, okay? If I wanted to copy and paste, Command C of that area, find the spot that I want to dump it on, and then press Command V. Now, that gives me um, a carbon copy, but I can edit still, okay? So, next time, we're going to be constructing our baseline but I want you to um, explore some different, um, both looping and copying and pasting.